What's your impression so far? So far, so good of the hotel. The drive-in we'll talk about. <laughs> <laughs> we made it, though. Yeah, we made it. Just be forewarned, we are in New York. 250 square feet rooms is pretty much the norm, so it's going to be tight. Um, this library hotel, it's kind of neat. Main New York City library is just right down the road, so that's why they call it the hotel library. But anyway, so each room has different books in them, so this is mathematics. We're in geology, so we're going to learn about uh, So we're going to learn about geology, I guess. Cool. And they have one that's like horror. Oh. Like, so I'm glad I didn't get that one because that would not be. That'd be kind of no. weird, right? <laughs> Let's see what kind of stuff we got here. Oh, look at this little thing. This is like the smallest little thing I've ever been in. Oh my word, check it out. It's small, but it's quaint. So they gave us a nice chocolate bar, which is pretty cool. And a nice little welcome card. Welcome to the Library Hotel. We hope you have a wonderful stay with us. Please do not hesitate to reach out if there's anything we can do to make your stay more comfortable. Best regards, Justin and the librarians. Oh, yeah. And that is handwritten, so yeah. it's pretty cool. So did a lot of reviews, though, on hotels in the area that we're in, since we're here for like the Christmas time. Uh, Bryant Park is a big park where you can do ice skating. They have their market there, the Christmas market. Rockefeller Center is just a couple blocks away. Central Park's not too far. Times Square and all that. Um, I didn't want to be near Times Square because I didn't want to have that whole party atmosphere and all those lights and stuff and so this is far enough away from central or from uh, Times Square and so um, that's awesome so location wise really can't be beat Grand Central Station's right down the road if you wanted to jump on subways um, so it should be pretty easy for us to navigate around town oh it's soft oh is there no air conditioning probably not oh for real uh, windows might open nope why does it say Oh, air conditioning. But I think it it's is 40 got, degrees I outside. <laughs> feel that. Instantly, oh, that's really, that feels so good. Instantly cools off. So we didn't get to show you the bathroom. This is pretty good size, uh, from what I've heard. For um, New York bathrooms, you don't usually get a lot of rooms, so it should be perfectly fine. So we do have a fridge, a little TV, and a bunch of books, as we talked about. Let's see, got a safe if you need to uh, lock up some stuff. So that's cool. More books. Yeah, so pretty neat. Little uh, chair here. A couple tables. Yeah, if you can see those vehicles behind us there and if we look a little tired this morning, it's because we got, I don't know, maybe half hour of sleep last night. These guys are out here to work on the roads, jackhammers, grinders, any, any every other type of machinery that you could ever imagine. Going from only 11 p.m. Only the loud ones. Only yeah. the loud machinery <laughs> that you could imagine. Only from 11 p.m. to uh, like 5 a.m. that thing was going. So anyway, it was uh, a rough night of sleep for sure. Uh, what did you think about your stay here? Uh, I'm not used to all that noise. <laughs> It's very dark at home. Um, they do have darkening curtains, but they don't fully cover the whole interior of the windows, so all the light comes in around the sides. Um, and even though they do have very thick windows, because it does it does muffle the sound, um, there's so much noise out there. I mean, constant honking and construction work, and it's just yeah, it's that, just New York. Just the negatives. It was a warm warm room. Uh, warm no room, yeah. um, no air conditioning in here. Uh, the bed was just a queen bed. Such small rooms in New York that you really, it's hard to get larger beds. And so when it's already warm, you got two people in one bed. You can't sleep because there's so much noise. Um, really, it was probably the most restless uh, week of any hotel I've ever stayed in. And we've stayed in a lot. But here's the funny part, though. Location-wise, like if you're talking about the mm -hmm. positives of it, the location of it couldn't be better. Um, just being so close to Grand Central Station, Bryant Park, Rockefeller Center. Um, we had so many days where we came back in the middle of the day to change clothes or to, you know, 
grab a snack or grab some water or do whatever. So it was, it's like you said, very, very conveniently located. It's almost, it's almost too bad that we overall, I have to say that I probably wouldn't stay here again. And it's really because the point of staying in a hotel is to be able to get some rest and um, we couldn't get any rest. It's not really, it's, the rooms are so small, you know, 250 square feet. You don't really hang out in here. Um, you know, it is called the library, so you could read a book, I guess, which is fine if, if that's what you want to do. But we're in New York trying to explore the city. So if we did come back again, we would probably stay in a similar area, but probably try a different hotel just to see if we could find one that just um, or maybe one a better on a rest. much higher floor. You know, the higher you are, the less light you'll get from the city. Yeah. The less noise you'll have. This is only 14 area. stories, and you yeah, got buildings yeah, that are for this hotel. But there are other hotels stories. that maybe yeah, true. might be higher. A couple more quick things uh, we just thought about as we were putting on our jackets, getting ready to head out. Um, nice amenities, too. You know, they got a, a second floor um, lounge lounge where you can go and get uh, coffee, drinks, Coke, uh, snacks. Books in there. We've been eating that for breakfast every morning because we're just on the go. Uh, mm -hmm. They just have like cliff bars and things like that. And there's a lounge where you can sit and, and do, you do get charged a resort fee. So it's not like it's free. You get, it gets charged on top of your room fee, which was already pretty hefty. Um, but Kim was also saying, like, your amenities in your room are pretty nice, you know, as far as your soaps and your shampoos and all that are pretty high-end stuff. So, not that I could care less. I don't know how much hair, but um, Kim does. And <laughs> she, she seemed to like it. Yeah. But, um, so that's just one more thing we wanted to add. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little glance of the library hotel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask below. We'd be happy to help you. Now that we've been here a week, we feel like we're experts. We can pretty much answer anything, any right. question you have about Manhattan anyway. So, mm -hmm. anyway, thanks again. All right. See ya.